So then, time to talk athletics. It's going to be a busy weekend because the National Senior Track and Field Championships are taking place in Santry in Dublin and quite a few Northwest athletes going down looking to defend titles and indeed sort of add to their medal hall in, in which they have achieved over the last couple of years. Uh, Patsy McGonigal, as always, joins us to look forward to that event. Patsy, how are you doing? Good to see you. Good the best, Oshin. Good, good. Well, I suppose, first of all, Patsy, Mark English not going to the Nationals. He wants to continue his form in high-quality fields. He won't be in Dublin, but where will he be this weekend as he, as he looks to continue his form heading into the Olympics? Yes, well, I mean, his, the situation with him is he's in Leverkusen in Germany at the moment, and he went straight from, um, I'm, try, I'm trying to remember all the cities he's been in in recent times, but he was in uh, Karlstad in Sweden, and he's gone from Karlstad down into Leverkusen, and he runs Sunday in in, in, uh, in Leverkusen, and, and hopefully will be a sharp, sharp, sharp race, and um, that'll be his final shot at um a big, big, big time race before the Olympic Games. Now, it's also important to, to, to relate. He currently is in 47th position in the ranking lists. Uh, 48 people qualify in, 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 that, uh, in that event. So, you know, he's very aware that he needs to keep his, um, his ranking strong. And as a result, this is why he's in Leverkusen. Rather yeah, than being yeah, the national, you need to do another one forty-five there, then Patsy. No matter if he gets as far as point two, as long as it was in that one forty-five range. Well, he needs, he needs, he needs, he needs to run. He needs to run. He needs to really run down there in, in that forty-four, forty-five area. You know, one forty-five, twenty is the standard. So I mean, he needs to, he needs to get, he needs to get. In ideally, he needs to break one forty-five, twenty. Right. Okay. So it's not one hundred percent guaranteed, Jen. That he's going to the Olympics as we speak, then Patsy is it? Well, see, nothing is, nothing is, because there's still a few days of qualification left for everybody. Mm -hmm. Now he is in a qualifying position. That's very important to say that. But uh, you know, you just have to wait, 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 wait out, wait out, wait out. Now we got a bit of a surprise over last weekend because there was a very fast race in Poland. Two or three more qualifiers came out of that race, and um, we're just watching the scene, particularly in America and in Europe. You know, so you know. Now, now also, it has to be said as well that there are a number of athletes in that in that qualification 48 list that haven't ran for a couple of years so will they be taken out of it or will they be left in it there's you know it's just getting down to the as they say now in, in the modern terms get the squeaky bum time now it's getting really serious um you know to see how, how it'll all how it'll all how it'll all fall down now in the next couple of days okay we'll wait to see what happens over the weekend in, in relation to mark absolutely we'll absolutely see, see, just, yeah. sorry for interrupting you, Ashley, but it's just just to make the point to run in the Nationals, when we discussed this, to run in the Nationals, it's very unlikely, you know, Mark English would be favourite to win the Nationals. And he has won National after National after National. And that would gain him 100 points, but it wouldn't get him the fast time, we, 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 we figure. So this is why he's in Leverkusen. Yeah. Um, can he break? Is he capable of getting that 145.2? Oh, absolutely. I mean, sure, if he, in the last night in Karlstad, only for atrocious weather, Nobody to, nobody to really go head-to-head -head with him. He won the race easy, and he was only a couple of, a couple of bits of a second off it. So, I mean, he, he, just, needs, he just needs somebody to, to, to drag him around, and then he kicks off the bend, and he, he, he goes for the line. That didn't happen in Karstad because he was, he was, he was a quality athlete in, in the race, on form, on the night, and nobody to challenge him. Will he have somebody to, put, to pull him around come the weekend in, in Germany? Is yes. There's there a runner there to do that? And so they're, they're, they're setting, setting that up, yeah. Yeah, okay. Uh, so that's the latest on Mark English. He's not going to be at the Nationals. He's going to be in Germany. We'll all keep a close eye on that, Patsy. But there is, of course, a host of other athletes from the Northwest who are all heading to Santry for three days of action. It gets underway on Friday. We'll start uh, with your own girl, Summer Lecky, uh, joint winner of the high jump last year. She had a very, very good jump recently in, in England where she won the uh, the championship there last weekend. She's going on as one of the favourites for, for the high jump again, Patsy. Yes, she is. And, uh, you know, she just needs to find her form, uh, to be sure, to be sure. And, um, you know, yes, as you say, she, she she tied for the championship last year. She is a, a former winner of the championship and um, she's a big time jumper. So you have to hope that it would all come together for her on the day. Now, she's still trying to form, still trying to find her real form. But um, she, she is, as we know from over many, many years, she's a quality athlete. And uh, we're looking forward to her performance at the weekend. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, no, John Kelly this year, he's out injured. So up steps the brother James. Uh, he won silver last year uh, and he's going to go in, in the shot. Gavin McLaughlin of Lefford Stavan also won the shot as well from right Patsy. So there could be a couple of medals coming back down the road for Donegal again. 
Aye, it would give him a Glavins Fin Valley as well. So the two of them could be a Fin Valley one two there, and um, that would be a very interesting, uh, a, a really nice story to think the two boys into the same club out of Donegal could get one two. That's the target, uh, McLaughlin and Kelly to hit one and two on the day. And uh, unfortunately, John's in Sweden and he had a bit of an operation, and uh, you know he's out for the season. But we're looking forward to getting him back again. But. Um, uh, James will have to just carry the can this time, along with Gavin McLaughlin, as far as we here in Donegal are concerned at Finn Valley. So basically, a one-two. We're looking for a one-two. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's talk about the uh, Lufford's to Gavin Crawford's going in the javelin. Brandon O'Donnell uh, in the hammer. Two big names and throws event for, for them, and they'll be they'll be looking for for medals and they'll be chasing gold again, Patsy. Yes, the wall and Brendan O'Donnell is the defending champion in the Hammer. A great achievement for him last year. And he's thrown over 61 and around 61, 62 this year. So, uh, you know, he, he, he's going to be in there sh shooting for a medal, most definitely shooting for a medal. And indeed, it, he'd be thinking in his mind that he can win this. So good luck to him. I hope that can happen. And uh, obviously his other Hammer thrown compatriot from Lifford Straban, uh, Adrian Gallon, uh, broke it on a goal record over 50 metres. She got a medal last year. And, uh, you know, I expect her to get into the medals again this time. Maybe she, she, may, she may not have won it uh, because there's a girl from Bandon that's particularly good. And there's another girl from Mayo particularly good. But the bronze medal is there for Adrian if she can if she can, if she she can can really kick it out there. And um, as you say, Gareth Crawford, he got a medal in the, in the Nationals uh, a few times, a few times at senior level. He's thrown over 65 metres at the moment. You know, I'd be nice to think that he could break a Donegal record, his Donegal record, which is 66 plus. So, you know, all, all worth watching the three of them. Very, very, very interesting to watch the three of them. Those three throwers from Lifford Straban. Yeah. Yeah. A couple of Jerry Connell athletes as well, chasing medals. Uh, Connell McMahon in the triple jump. And as always, we know Kelly McGrory always steps up when it comes this time of year to national competitions. And uh, she's a good bet for a medal. Well, she's not only a good bet for a medal, she's in the best form of her life, really. She's a 5977, the first Donegal athlete ever to break 60 seconds over 400 meter hurdles. So, I mean, uh, she's going to be looking. She won the title. Um, she has done it before now, and um, so let's 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 hope that she can that she can do the business on the day uh, from Chicago Athletic Club, of course. And as you say, Conor McMahon, the the interest around him is you know yes he can get a medal, uh, yes he can jump fourteen meters plus. Um, can he break? Can he break Nick Sweeney from Dunmore's long, long, long standing Donegal triple jump record? That that would be the kind of kind of kind of story I'd be looking for in the championships from him. And he's been very close. He's only been a few centimeters off that mark, and um, it'd be nice to see the, the triple jump record fall and a new a new new name appearing there. So that's Colin McMahon. Yes, he can get a medal. He can get a medal. And again, your Connell Athletic Club. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, obviously, we have to mention the the, the Flanagans from uh, County Tyrone. Is there anybody else from Donegal that, that would have uh, hopes of getting the medal, Patsy? No, I think that's about the that's that's to, in my head now at the minute. That would be that would be the tally on the on Donegal. Um, then, as you say, the Flanagan sisters, Rashin and um, and uh, Elish Elish ran last weekend in Madrid. Um, she is in an interesting position. Um, both of them have come home for, for for the summer from Adam State University. Both of them are standout athletes. Uh, Elish is the national collegiate champion from the states. And um, she's not all that far away from Olympic qualifying. You see, but again, just to, just to underline it, Elish, they're from Garchin, um, and she is in 55th position at the moment in, in the world rankings for the Olympic Games. 45 qualify in that event. Um, she'll get 100 points if she wins the nationals. Um, she's got a race on her hands against a girl called Michelle Finn, who has qualified for the Olympics. So it's very much up in the air for Elish. And there is a possibility... Uh, come the weekend that I, that I could be telling the story about a young girl from Garchin having got to the Olympic Games, but she's a, a wee bit off it, so we'll have to just fingers crossed that everything else in the world of, of steeplechase uh, works in her favour. Her sister also, um, I've no doubt that she'll medal as well, Rashin, so in, in, on the track. So there, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stories over the three days. The championship started on the Friday and go on through Saturday and Sunday, so it's a, it's a, busy, it's a, it's a busy, busy weekend, and obviously Again, with the COVID story, 400 people are going to be allowed in on Saturday, but it's it's hard to it's hard to get a ticket, and an athlete needs to indicate to you, and it's that's just so messy. And as a result of the COVID situation, 
Dempsey McGuigan, who would be expected to win the hammer, is not travelling because he just isn't prepared to do seven days so sitting around uh, in quarantine. And uh, Molly Gribbon, who got a medal uh, a year ago or so in the, in, the, in the long jump, isn't going to travel from the States because she would be sitting in a bloody hotel somewhere for a couple of weeks. And that I just told her to stay where she is. So basically, it's about the people we've talked about. So it's going to go through, going to go through mainly heats on Friday night and then the real the real stories started to emerge on the Saturday. So just to say, from Highland News' point of view, I'll be on the case right through Saturday and Sunday. Good stuff, Patsy. Let's look forward to busy weekend. Many thanks for joining us, Patsy. Speak to you over the weekend. Thanks, Patsy.